Welcome to Urban Data Model Tutorial. In this session I'll be discussing about uh, reverse engineering. In order to do reverse engineering you don't have to open any uh, model. You can just right click on this reverse engineering option here and it only allows you either physical or logical physical and I'll click the physical here for this demonstration and I click next and we'll be prompted uh, with a window and in this window you select either it's a data type database sorry or uh, from a script file if you have a SQL script file uh, you can basically browse to that location and get it or uh, if you have the object sitting in a database you click the database uh, like in this case and you can choose which objects uh, you want from the database to be brought into urban and uh, you can also filter the objects based on the owner type I will not do any of that in this demo and you can infer primary keys and relationships and uh, you can while importing them into Irwin you can enforce uh, the case conversion here uh, we won't do any of this in this uh, discussion so I'll just say next and uh, since I selected SQL Server uh, it will ask me for database I give the database and the server details in this case it's a local host and I say connect and it's starting to import the objects and the kind of errors that you're seeing on the screen are more related uh, because I'm using a community edition of Irwin which has a limitation of 25 objects so whenever it exits it's throwing all these uh, errors uh, you probably wouldn't be getting this if you're using a standard or uh, uh, workgroup edition Okay, so once this is done and I click close, I get the model here. I can uh, use the overview option uh, pane here uh, to browse uh, to the objects, or I can as well uh, click uh, the zoom to fit model here uh, so that I can see all the objects in here. One other quick tip I want to say is most of the times um, uh, we want to print the model on a paper and if it's a small model uh, like this uh, probably visible on a uh, regular uh, uh, print what we need to do is you say print and don't forget to check this option print page otherwise what happens is it will try to print in multiple pages like you see here uh, each square box here is a page so you can imagine if I were to give this to a printer without actually checking an option uh, it will it will print the model in uh, multiple pages. Um, with this, I conclude the session on uh, reverse engineering. Uh, thanks for watching.